All right, guys. Uh, so this is gonna be a little bit of a rush job. I'm not gonna be cleaning up, painting the firewall like I would like. Um, you know, I'm borrowing a, a friend's shop here, and it's a working shop. Uh, I can use a bay for a day or two and not be in his way working on his scheduling. But ultimately, I can't just tie up his shop for a week or two at a time. So the whole goal is I'm gonna come up here tomorrow, rip the cab off, yank this motor out, get the other motor set in, uh, and try to get everything put on it to where I can fire it up, carbureted, drive home. Uh, I don't have the ability to, to actually physically swap the motor at home, but I can do the, the wiring and the side work and whatnot. So that's the plan. Uh, I'll take some video, probably some time lapse as I do this. Uh, I will take the time to do the new cab uh, mounts because I've got them. Uh, I ordered those months ago, uh, trying to get this thing to where it's a good streetable truck. So as I get more resources in, uh, I'm going to buy the stuff to do the front end and the rear end. Um, I've got my uh, Harbor Freight welder. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I need to get some gas so I can actually run it uh, with good uh, welding wire instead of flux core. Because that looks atrocious. It, it actually welds really well. I've got some, some stuff I did, uh, but it just looks horrible. And I don't want that to be a finished product. So... in running and then try to switch over to EFI because I've got to do the tank so I can do the fuel pump and all that. Uh, power steering is going to be an issue. It's a manual steering truck and to run the Super Coupe uh, front dress I'll have a power steering pump there and I can delete it but that's that's not what I want to do because I'm going to the Crown Vic front end and I'll keep the power steering. So for right now I'm going to try to just loop the line back to the reservoir see if I can let it circulate and lubricate the pump that way and let it run. We'll see what happens. Um, so just a few things to look at. Uh, like I said, we'll do some time lapse and let you guys follow along. Uh, you'll get to see kind of the setup. I've got an issue where the headers run straight into the cross member pretty much. I've made a little S curve to try and uh, get around that. But um, I also have a Stifler double hump cross member that I, from a friend that I might use and I might cut the factory cross member to just like extend the Stiflers and make it ball bolt together. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, be ready to follow along. Uh, it's been one of my first videos to get back up on YouTube. It's been a while. Um, I've kind of just sat back and gathered some parts and, and whatnot so that we can get a lot done at once. Uh, I've got a lot going on. I'll do some, uh, probably this weekend I'll be working on my bike and getting it together. Uh, the plan there is to build the bike, you know, make it as close to 100% as I can, sell it, and uh, use that money to finish my Celica, which should bring decent money, sell it, and that money goes towards getting me a shop. So uh, this is the plan. Anyway, thanks, and let's go. All right, guys, I made a video of putting the motor in my truck in the shop and everything. Got home and tried to edit it and realized I lost a big chunk of audio. So I'm going to kind of have to make a video of mainly just me talking. I'll get some video or uh, some pictures and see if I can inset them into this video. I don't know. I'm still learning how to make videos, guys. Um, but the, the Supercoop motor's in. Um, it's kind of a rush thing. I can't take up my, the bay in my buddy's shop for very long, so I have to push the truck out. And I work nights, so then my schedule ends up a little interesting uh, on being able to go over and get time on the truck. But as it is, the uh, motor's in, transmission, everything's bolted in. I got the blower and the intake and everything on. I'm going to have to figure out the intercooler. Um, headers are on i have a temporary exhaust sorted um it's just kind of tacked up there two cheap mufflers and some uh part store bins just to i didn't even cut anything um other than the little dog legs i had to make to go over the cross member i'll address that later i'm either going to make shorty headers or turn my long tubes into like a mid-length 
or uh, I'm gonna have to see what I can do with the motor mounts, so the transmission mount, cross member, and try to get it where the headers are above the frame rails. Um, I've got some quite a bit of room to bring the motor up. Of course, I want to just make my center of gravity crazy, but um, we'll get it sorted out. Uh, it's mainly temporary until I can get the um, Crown Vic front end and the S550 IRS uh, probably sometime this summer or maybe even into the winter of next year, hopefully sooner. Um, I would love to have the suspension done for the F100 roundup we have in Gainesville. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, hopefully it's at least running and maybe a little bit presentable. Um, but uh, it's it's ready to come home now. I'm going to have to sort out some coolant lines, the wiring, and get an EFI fuel tank in it and get the lines run. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of a performance goodies going on it too. Uh, just trying to get it running and driving for now. Uh, it's going to make decent power. Uh, shouldn't be too crazy though. Um, I don't know if I want to really push the 3.8 or if I'm going to end up swapping to a Coyote or something later. Um, I've got a buddy we've, we've Coyote swapped one of his cars and we're fixing to do a Gen 3 and a 99 Cobra on another one. And I'm really leaning towards a Gen 2 or 3 with a positive displacement blower of some sort on it. Um, it's just, it makes power so easy. Um, but uh, for now, the 3.8 is going in it. So, like I said, I'll try to post some pictures up here. Um, sorry it's been a long time with COVID and, you know, sometimes I'm working, sometimes I can't work. It, it's crazy and it affects my resources. And I've also had some issues with my daily. So, um, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this little update. I'll try to get some pictures in. Um, in the next, next week, I promise I'll try to get over there, get the truck back to the house and make a really good video of it as it sets. Go over what I did and what I didn't do and what I'm fixing to do. And I'll try to do some time lapse and maybe even a little bit of tutorial on the wiring. Um, I'm really torn. Uh, Ron Francis, I believe, makes a, a really nice wiring harness for the motor. It's 700 something dollars, but I mean, it's all new wiring on something that's 30 years old. Uh, I feel like it might be worth it and it makes it really easy to hook up so um, once I get the transmission sorted in my daily, uh, my 14 Mustang is going from a 6R80 to an MT82. Wish I'd have bought a manual in the first place. Um, it's not making a bunch of power. It's not going to. It's just a daily. Uh, and I, I prefer a manual transmission. So I wish I'd have bought one in the first place. But I'm going to remedy that with the 6R80 having issues anyway. But uh, thanks. And I'll see if I can't get some pictures posted up here. Uh, and maybe voice over do a little bit of uh explaining of what i did thanks all right so i had to make some of these dog legs because the headers run straight into the cross member just kind of tucks it up and over uh do a temporary exhaust for now once i get my suspension done um, i'll get it all laid out super nice when i move the fuel tank and whatnot so these are the mufflers i ended up with again guys this is just kind of something thrown up there piece together nothing special this won't be on the truck very long um, again just to get it muffled and on the street uh, running a 4-2 transmission and flywheel setup so I'm using that gear reduction starter clears the headers great um, so I'm really glad to be able to get these long tubes to fit uh, the oil filters coming up that had removed the factory water to oil cooler uh, oil filter ended up kind of between the cross member and the motor but it is serviceable um it's not the greatest but it is what it is for now um and we'll go from there and so then this was the tensioner on the passenger side just barely clears the frame i've had to cut nothing to clear this and get it in the truck um, everything is a factory ford part so here it is just kind of all put together enough for me to get it to the house uh, and then starting on the wiring and I'm probably going to have to run an air to water and here is coming up a clip of the exhaust with open head of head. <laughs> 